word. Hello and welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world and we share our thoughts and opinions on second page news. My name is Maxi Earl. I am sat here with Alex. What's up? I'm sat here with Dev. Yellow. Emma. Hello. And CJ. Hi. And what are we going to start talking about today, Emma? Okay, so we'll start with my article and it's about challenges again. So... There's a recent challenge. I don't know if you, any of you have heard of it, but it's called Get That Money Challenge. Or get, yeah, Get That Money Challenge. And basically what it is, is your, a parent or older sibling or someone holds a bank or credit card against the door and says to their kid, <laughs> says to their kid or sibling, okay, <laughs> if you can stop this credit card, then you can buy whatever you want. So they hold the credit card and then release it and the kid has to... Stop it with their head. Sorry, with their head. I was going to say. <laughs> with their head. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, there's heaps of ways the you can stop arms have that. to be down or behind their back and they've got to stop it with their head. <laughs> um, yeah. And if they do it, um, they can buy whatever they want. And this has been, this has gone viral and there's so many videos, but the, the poor children. Concussions all around. The poor That's children. Because they're the like, of, um... they literally go like this. <laughs> bang. Like, it's they... crazy. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched the videos? I have watched oh, them. I'm have you guys to. watched them? No. Oh, man. So there's a boy, he must look like nine years old, and he's got his dad. He's holding the credit card against the door, and then the boy's maybe CJ. half a foot, like 20 centimeters away from the door. Yeah. They drop, it slides down. Oh, no, he doesn't even drop it the first time. <laughs> he just <laughs> pretends to drop it, <laughs> and the kid <laughs> slams his head against the door. <laughs> but, like, I just, I don't. Like it's funny, but it's not funny because it's your ch- it's children's heads. <laughs> I can watch this all day. This is brilliant. I don't know <laughs> who started it. I feel like if oh. adults want to do that, they should. But leave the children out of it. The children are like, I can buy anything I want. Yes, bang. That's who I'm taking my credit card. Where are your kids? <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a few of them in there. Yeah, I might try and do it there's to Maddie, quite a see few. What she says. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> but I mean, one more. haven't watch we learned more. enough about concussion? Hang on a sec. Maxie wants to watch it one more time. <laughs> Maxie's still watching. Maxie's, Maxie's still cool. laughing. Maxie's like, I want a kid so I can do this challenge. <laughs> I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> well, you'd, you'd watch this and thought, uh, you haven't thought you want to do it to your kids? No. Uh... Oh. Dev, have you, have you seen it yet, Dev? I haven't seen it, no. <laughs> okay, watch it and then tell me as a man that you do not want to try I think it's the men. Kids. I think it's the men. Oh, there's no women that's <laughs> the, tried I'm it? I'm watching no, no, no. the two girls. No. Not like one, one, woman, well. one woman tried it with her teenage daughter. Oh, no, it wasn't even... I don't know if it was the <laughs> mum or she not. She doesn't like her teenage daughter very much. <laughs> oh, I see, can see some pictures. Is it you've got to do it with your forehead or just like your head? Because I would definitely try my tongue. Like, yeah. Oh, my go to. What? Yeah. yeah, because I, I I feel like you can like you can like flatten it against. I, I, Wait, you can look and you want to lick the door. <laughs> <laughs> that right. is so what gross. Was thing, Alex was just just, just for everyone on in, uh, just for everyone that's <laughs> listening to this. Uh, everyone's got their tongue out trying to catch it. This <laughs> invisible credit card with their tongue. Not me. You got a slippy tongue. <laughs> was it grip? I don't. I haven't seen tongue, anyone actually catch it. I've watched a few. I've not seen any catch. I'm sure there is some that have caught it yeah. with their heads. Um, but there's other weird challenges like the cheese challenge. Apparently, the mums throw slices of cheese at their baby. He goes cheese. Oh, yeah. I've seen that one. That's what? stupid. <laughs> like cheese. I don't they just throw it on their fore- They throw it on their forehead. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I just I feel don't like know. there's it's a really so funny mean. one of this baby, and the baby just starts like hysterically laughing, like when it lands <laughs> on her head. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry, that's Wait, a bit of form of abuse. Is... <laughs> it's like throwing, throwing your things at your children, like hey, <laughs> cheese you, <laughs> <laughs> cheese you, <laughs> cheese you. I don't know, but <laughs> I've seen. I had a look around to see what's the new ones. Obviously, we've we've talked about in that in your feelings challenge, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, there's this one where what the kids are doing, and it's called choking, fainting, pass out challenge. So oh, that sounds man. so safe. So that sounds what they do it's catchy. They try is, it, what, is it hashtag choking 
choking, fainting, hashtag, hashtag pass out challenge. Hashtag murder someone challenge. That's a long hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> so to get a high or faint, kids either choke other kids, press hard on their chests, or hyperventilate. Like, what the hell? What happens if you just smoke a weed? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's still there. <laughs> then you've got the other ones like biting into a pod of laundry detergent. It's called the Tide Pod Challenge. Yeah, the Tide. So you know those, uh, yeah, those laundry pods and they dissolve. The Tide Pod one. Challenge. Now, I may be wrong about this, but that was like a big thing and people going, oh, people doing the Tide Pod Challenge. I don't know if you ever saw anyone do it because I never saw it. I just saw people talk about it. And then yeah. from what I heard, it wasn't actually real. No one ever did it. I saw I'm pretty sure it. people did it. Was Because that's what I think it was Trevor Noah said something about it. Because like there was loads of people talking about it. Like they were going, oh, people are doing this typo challenge. They're crazy, all this kind of stuff. But there was never any footage of it. So that I think that Maybe one may have started can by people whether that... talking about it rather than actually someone doing it if that makes yeah. sense do you reckon it was just like some absolute nutter did it once and then that was enough for oh everyone to start God. talking about it and then yeah. no one really passed it on because i saw maybe I, I think there was one or two i saw but i didn't really i wasn't actively looking for them so i stopped pretty quickly yeah because that that like gives you chemical burns ha, and... ha, what person what person would you do this challenge with the credit card challenge <laughs> and like <laughs> I, well, i'm trying to phrase this so like your children no like so i'm saying <laughs> If um, who's the bo- boss from Microsoft? Bill Gates. So yeah. he had a credit card, and he's like, um, "I had to go for the daughter." Oh, somebody. like because <laughs> right. you can buy whatever you want. Right. So how many times are you willing to do that challenge with uh, Bill Bill Gates' credit card? You're like, oh, <laughs> until I this. catch it, I'm gonna get um, this. <laughs> this <laughs> I'm way. Gonna... I'll do it that many times. By the time I do catch it, I won't be able to put a sentence together <laughs> for the next three years. <laughs> C- what would you buy? CJ, I'm with not, Bill Gates I'm not liking that card. lack of confidence. Like, I'm going <laughs> to keep trying until I get it, but I'm getting it after like four. Like, it's not taking me more than <laughs> No, no, no. Four. <laughs> just in case, I'm saying what like that. Um, I reckon CJ's going to really go through this. just to try it. I really want to just try it now. <laughs> like, just... like, two things are happening. Okay. He's going to have to I buy think... a new door. <laughs> Maxi, get oh, Melody to I'm going do to it with you. Please. Will yeah. Melody yes. do it? We want. I want Instagram footage on the B side word of Melody dropping a card and Maxi trying to catch it with his head. Yeah, I want to see it, to see it now. Actually, to. we all should do it. do it. But you have to have you. incentive. Like, what do you? What does he get? Nothing. It's just that, like, <laughs> Maxi, Maxi can buy uh, whatever he, gets... he wants. He doesn't need to have. I'm, I'm not going to risk getting, uh, getting a concussion for Marriage. nothing. <laughs> 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 all right, I get a happy meal. I've had a few concussions <laughs> over the years. They're not fun. <laughs> Vegan burger from Hungry Jack. I still see fuzzy see fuzzy lights every now and then. <laughs> 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 Alright, so that's sorted. Maxie's going to do that challenge and post it to the Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> so this challenge... Uh, the you ever thought about getting a job in sales, Emma? <laughs> she, she's very good. She's I a very, to. very good salesman. She <laughs> used to work for Foxtel. I guess that's uh, Oz... What's it then? In, in Sky. Sky. She used to sell Sky to people. like, And she was TV. very, yeah. very good. Her, her yeah. like... <laughs> Or when we were at um, when we were on the dining table because she has to do all her sales afterwards, and I'm like, what are what are they invoices? And she's just flicking these invoices, and I'm like, How? but there's a lot there. She goes, yep, and she's just flicking them. <laughs> she's making it rain invoices because <laughs> the base salary for like uh, a Sky rep or a Foxtel mm-hmm. rep is very small. Yeah, right. But she was just, I was like, oh, that's made up for it. I was like, sick. Yeah, yep. a good week was like a grand. Yeah, yeah cool work. But that was Whoa. ages ago. That was in commission ago. only. Well, including um, so base. Including I think base. back like 12, 14 years ago, it was about only three hundred a week. Base. Yeah, base, base was three hundred. So. Still. so I used to sell it, wow. used to install it. Yeah. There you go. We could pay more than that. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had to work harder. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I used to go on two-hour lunches. <laughs> So did I. What are you doing? In the Ooh, shopping centre. I'd be like, back in five minutes. <laughs> I saw like four naked ladies while working at Foxtel. What? What do you mean? Wow. And, and, is, anyway. is that, is that Did they put that in the top description? <laughs> Potential to see naked ladies. About four naked ladies. <laughs> I, had, I had my letter set up in her bathroom to go up into the manhole. And she decided to have a shower while I'm in the manhole. What? <laughs> yeah. And the I think manhole I was, ca- was in I, I the bathroom. I think I was cuter back in those days for some reason. <laughs> how did how did that go down? What what was did you did she see you see her? She saw me put the letter in. She saw me yeah. climb up the letter. And then I was yeah. working and I heard shh. 
<laughs> I'm like, something's happening, you know? <laughs> I went down to the bottom. <laughs> she was there. You having a shower? What? And I've just gone back up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some weird person in Donkey Kong. That yeah. is <laughs> weird. Yeah, we just have done a sexual harassment thing at work. <laughs> so I went, oh, I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm not going to post the boy of sexual harassment. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I hit upstairs. Well, did she Let see you? Did you see you? See her? Did you like look at her in her eyes or? Yeah, I looked at her. I just half saw. I kind of look at her more than her eyes, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I I pause for a minute. <laughs> CJ, hang on. Was, oh, what I want to know is, did she look back at you? Yeah, if she did, she saw me look at her. She wants to know. Did she realise that you saw oh, her? She knew I was there. And how, did, how did she react when she realised? She just kept showering, mate. She was all good. What? <laughs> I think yeah. I was more embarrassed than her. How old was this lady? <laughs> she was probably enough, late late thirties. I was like eighteen, nineteen. Oh. <laughs> She knew what she wanted. She knew. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> oh, my God. She wanted, of, she wanted a bit of seizure in her life. Wow. <laughs> wow. The damn sex harassment course. <laughs> Stop her from getting lucky. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you say I do after calls? You say you do after calls? Didn't think about the time. <laughs> um, at the time, I was thinking, holy crap, it's so, a neck lady. So... <laughs> 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 So this challenge, right? Mm. This challenge reminds me of the claw. By the way, one minute warning. What's the, the claw? claw at the at the game centers? Oh, now you get yeah. that claw. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much the the chances you're gonna get like that credit card. It's yeah. Like, uh, has anyone won from that claw game? No. Well, no. yes, because in the bowling alley they have a kid friendly one, <laughs> and you, you could just have as many goes as you want. It's unlimited until you get something. <laughs> I'm not lying. The kids think it's the best <laughs> yeah. thing ever. Yeah. How long did it take? To get it took at least seven minutes for one of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> seven minutes? It was like, the oh. Only, the only time I've ever going. won one of those things is by just one time I just was in an arcade and saw someone try for so long and then give up. I was like, I reckon it's probably ready to give one out now. Let me have a go. And you did, got you, get, did you get one? Yeah. Oh, actually, it I was, only got um, one the other week. One of those like squidgy bulls on a band. So like you could. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sweet. How, much did you, how much did you pay for your squeegee ball on a band? It took me like two One tries. One million dollars. <laughs> Forty-five dollars. <laughs> this was a uh, ba- bar. But free parking. Wait, <laughs> 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 that 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 joke wasn't in the podcast. It wasn't. Was it? Nah, it wasn't. Ah. So that's what like, everyone, everyone, everyone's head. As an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Um, yeah, but like a lot of times, even one go is cheaper than the prizes, right? Like you know when you go to the fair, for example, yeah. the amount you pay to go to have a like a go on the competition is already more expensive than the yeah. prize. Yeah, they're, 100%. they're in like a win, 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 win situation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the the best one I've ever done was when um you weren't here for this, were you, Emma? When the exchange kids stayed at our house. You were Dude, in Australia what? at this point, weren't you? From where? Because I ha- we had the German exchange kids <laughs> the, um, stay with us. The American one. I think nah, you I were in not there. Yeah, I think because I think he stayed in your room. I think you were in Australia already. So oh. he he was over. We went to we went bowling, and you know they always have the arcade games. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen the one where it's like light strip and it goes side to side, and you have to stop yes. it and you have to stand? Yes. Yeah. I won a Nintendo DS on that. It took seven tries. What? Really? That's incredible. Yeah. That's so fast. Wow. That stuff. That is like. What lucky. is it? What yeah. is it? I don't get it. You know, you know oh, no, I've like- I've I've got to. You know, it has like two tiers of winning. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you have like the top one, and then it has like two more stacks for the grand prize. Yeah. The top, the one before the grand prize, I've won that loads of times. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's like, we had it in Banbury in the bowling that I had it all the time, and it always, it'll get you to that level, and then you try and click the one above, and it just, like, no matter how well you press it, it will just slip off. Do you know what I mean? Ah. Yeah. It was designed so that it was just like, is. nope, unlucky, unlucky. <laughs> it's like, like it was like blocks. consistently all the way up, you would, I'd be like, good, 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 good. And no matter what, every single time I get to that one, it was like, ah. Oh, you mistimed it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> liar. Oh man. But yeah. Um, if you guys did, you watch any of the try not to laugh uh, challenges? I know you did, Dev. I think. No, I didn't. Where they have to make them, <laughs> where they have to make them laugh. I heard you going crazy laughing over them. No, like I didn't watch the don't laugh challenge. I saw, I saw the reaction to a don't laugh challenge, right? And uh. I'm, I'm looking at this guy. I don't know. It took me like five minutes to go. 
I'm not actually watching the challenge. I'm watching someone else watch the freaking challenge. Oh. And I'm watching this guy, and I'm 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 cracking up because of this bloke. What the right? does it come to? I, I you don't even watch the program anymore. Anymore, you watch the person watching the program. I was watching someone watch the program. It was effed up. Anyway, oh, man. so one day we'll watch someone watching our podcast, watching the podcast, yeah, or listening. Well, whatever. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow I just don't know Remember like how ages ago we said we would come up with our own challenge We haven't yet I think we need some inspiration So if any of our listeners have a good idea for a challenge You know we should do fakies on the elevator What? What's that? So every time someone um, See how long it takes someone to get irritated by you keeping the Keep pressing the door open button <laughs> You just like before it closes, bang, open. Bam. It. Okay, okay. Oh bang. my god! If, 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 bang, if I was it. running late to work and someone kept doing that to me, I'd probably be getting in trouble. <laughs> like bang, open. Oh, you would not. That takes balls as well. That's right. Like JD Sports Kid, keeping the elevator door open <laughs> takes balls. <laughs> you just and it has to be full. And the more people you got in there, the oh, more points you get. No. Bang, open. So my max fact for this week is about Liechtenstein. So Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest country in the world. It's basically a big city, right? In the middle of Europe. But it is the world's largest exporter of false teeth. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> false teeth? Yep. Isn't it funny how it, it like... It produces... That's an interesting six fact. Oh, try and guess how how many artificial teeth six like individual billion. teeth six, it produces. Six hundred thousand. Six billion. <laughs> six Bil- billion. billion is a lot. <laughs> There's six billion seven billion people. <laughs> Around the world. Everyone gets, everyone, gets, everyone gets a tooth. You get a tooth. You get a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone's got like so multiple teeth. Six hundred thousand, <laughs> Maxi. Six million? It's six they produce sixty million artificial teeth. Uh, uh the company manufactures annually in 10,000 different shades and shapes and it accounts for 40% of the false teeth sold in Europe and 20% worldwide. Wow. That's incredible from one small um, one small town. Where do they so keep So if you look all? at and I'm not sure this is how statistics work but I'm going to pretend really they creative. were like this but every person <laughs> you see with false teeth one in five of those teeth were made will in be from Liechtenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it from? Where'd you get it from? Liechtenstein? <laughs> at least at least twenty percent of these were from Liechtenstein. No. <laughs> like every fifth one, like that one, and all different shades as well. All different shades, which is interesting. <laughs> that was a great Max facts. Max facts. Max facts. <laughs> okay, uh, take it away, Dev. So my article this week is uh, a picture of a traffic jam. On Mount Everest. Yeah. Which Car- just... Like cars? Completely. completely. <laughs> Helicopters. No, people. People. So there's a line <clears throat> to get to the top of Mount Everest. To the summit. Have you guys seen to the, the, summit. the, the picture? picture? To the summit, yeah. yeah. So this picture went viral. It's hundreds. So, so the, wait. So the only reason I'm, I want to bring this picture up is because Everest was a, a, a feat... That was meant for the elite, like um, fitness wise and like courage and I don't know. There's like, I mean, I'm not saying these people aren't fit and courageous at all, but there's a, there's a traffic jam. (laughs) (laughs) There's a traffic jam to get to the top. (laughs) It looks like there's about a hundred and, I'd say 150 people maybe. No, there's over, there's over 300. Oh, bad guessing. About 300 people. So it's 300 people, but the, the line's like, it's because it's sort of on like the, if you imagine, how do you explain it? Like it's on the edge. So if it's a two, two like sides leaning together and at the very top on that edge, so they it's can't the walk ridge. around each other very well. Like that, the ridge. The ridge. Yeah. Ridge, that's the word. So like they, the reason there's a big queue is because it's like a super narrow path. If you go left, you fall. If you go right, you fall. So I guess they have to like find little passing points or hug each other as they go around. But it's just, where do they go when they get to the top? Do they have to, like, crawl back down each other to get back? <clears throat> well, That's this is I'm not I, sure. I've, I heard something about this, and I don't know if it talks about this in the article. Weren't there, like, 
people dying because of this. Because yeah, hundred percent. Because there's yeah. only win- oh. when it comes to going up Everest, there's only windows that you can go to the summit, like time windows. Okay, yeah. so, so I the have fact a that really there's a traffic jam it caused problems, I believe. I researched it. So basically, it's called a summit day. So on a summit day, which is the day when like the weather conditions are right um, to reach the top, hundreds of climbers line for over two hours to access the fixed ropes. Um, and that's a place, uh, the fixed ropes are used to negotiate a section of the climb called the Hillary Step. Okay, so that's a 12 meter or 39 foot wall of rock and ice just below the top. So that's where these people are queuing. Um, and that's at 8,763 meters high, which is 28,700 feet. So basically, and it's at a 45 to 60 degree angle as well, okay, which is usually easy. However, because um, they're all lining up, when they're lining, they're wasting precious time and oxygen. Um, so when they're lining up, their body temperature's dropping um, along with their physical strength and they become more vulnerable to frostbite and hypothermia. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now, because of that, that, their mental judgment starts to become like severely impaired as well. And as a consequence um, of acute mountain sickness and all this combined, they make silly decisions. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have died because of this. So they're just literally waiting around, wasting all their energy. I just want to put a caveat, right? I think these people are courageous, right? And I'm not, I'm not playing down what they did. I just, it's not what, like, do you remember when people, when you heard people, um, climbed Everest back in the day, Mm. like it was just one, one person, like I only knew like very, very few people would climb Mount Everest. But it seems yeah. to be on everyone's bucket list. And it's, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to do it. I don't think I have the fitness, no. whatever. Yeah. But um, is, I think it's only like, is it like 10% of people to set out actually do it? Or well, it's a very low percentage. I don't know uh, okay. what the actual stat is. Are you talking about so to, the summit, to the summit? To the summit? Because everyone gets to the, the summit. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that base camp. Base camp is, there's a lot of people to, at base camp. To get yeah. to the summit, you have to do like it takes a long time because you have to Three. go like up and down and up and down and yeah. all that stuff, don't you? Yeah. Um, and it costs a lot of money as well. Yeah, it does. So, but that's the thing because a lot of people are being paid to do this. Like they're doing maybe they're doing it for charity or they're doing it for oh, okay. um, publicity. And so that also so when they're lining up, instead of making the sensible decision, saying right. Time's running out. I've been lining up here for two hours, three hours. I should probably descend. They're like, I'm so close. Like, I'm just going to push, push on. I've got all this, um, you know, these people like sort of, you know, waiting on me. And it's like added pressure. Yeah. And they're like so close that they just continue on. My, my friend did um, did this climb and he, he made it to um, base camp and he was supposed to go up to the next level, right? Uh, I don't know what, le- what stage that is. But he got um, altitude sickness. Mm. So he had to get rescued by a helicopter, which cost, which cost fourteen thousand dollars. What to get rescued oh. from? From fourteen thousand dollars. You've got to get the oh helicopter to pick him up and that. But the insurance, he was covered by insurance, so he had really? to pay the excess and that. But but Poor insurance company. Yeah, I think he's. I think depending how many people have altitude sickness, you split the cost. Oh. <laughs> That's Shared not, Uber. Just wait a minute. Someone else will get it shortly. Because I, <laughs> yeah. I think someone else was there. So the cost was split. Oh, my God. Um, That's crazy. It, it says here that about a thousand climbers try to reach the summit every year and 500 actually do it. So it's about 50%. And interestingly, 49% of males reach and 52% of females reach it. Now, the Nepali organization are trying to, they've installed a, or they've come up with the idea of installing a ladder on the Hillary step. I what? guess the Hillary step is is the bit that, like, I guess gets you up to the summit, right? There's ladders so all the way through that, the climb. Not ladders. Yeah, there's ladders. There's ladders that people use to, like, get to certain parts oh, of the... Oh, maybe. I don't know. But there, there's In not Everest. one there. And they're wanting no it. There's a doco. There's a doco. This guy was, like, using, like, um, like the ladders are flat even. No, just but so those are just the ones that the Sherpas, like, put out to cross a crevice or something or... Yeah, there's, there's ladders then. They're, they're not permanent now, are they? They're, 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 not, they're not. The Sherpas aren't bringing them the ladders down because there's another Sherpa coming up as well. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, so they're trying to do this to try and alleviate the traffic um, and like, you know, just, but it's still going to be issues with narrowness and all sorts of stuff. 
Besides all this, having a traffic jam on Mount Everest is also not environmentally friendly. Apparently, there's so much garbage. That's what I was thinking about, yeah. yeah. so much trash, um, empty oxygen tanks, other debris, feces, because oh. there's nowhere to go to the toilet. Yeah. So um, feces is a bad thing. <laughs> and also dead bodies. So there's actually oh, a man. lot of dead bodies that they're just too difficult to recover. And they like some of them have just been there for decades and have become like part of the landscape, basically. But um, yeah, it's not the best. Now, there's this one Sherpa. He has just broken his own record for the most amount of climbs. He has just cracked 23 climbs. But I think wow. the one behind him is at 22 or 21. Um, 49 year old Kami Rita. Well done, Kami. So. Let's get him on the podcast. <laughs> I'm not going to clap someone for doing their God. job. He's just to climb Mount Everest. He, Good job. He's a shirt. He's done a good job 23 it. times? Yeah. Man, I've done my job so many more times than that. Sage, <laughs> as if that's not impressive, climbing Mount Everest 23 times. <laughs> He's paid to climb it. I, I get love, it. I love how you're like, that's his job. <laughs> Does he actually paid to climb it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know. No, no. He Climb it with um other people. Yeah. To like be their Sherpa. Yeah, 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 he would. Oh. It costs so that much, you only oh. have to do it 22 times. So the Sherpa <laughs> is like the guide. Um, uh, his, his, he first climbed it in 1994 and his dad was one of the first Sherpa guides on Everest. Family business. Um, but he's been through a lot. He was at um, base camp when that massive avalanche in 2015, it killed 19 people. Oh, man. His family were like, please quit, please quit. But he just, you know, it's in his blood. So um, he continued on. Um, but to be honest, the, the Sherpas, the Sherpas are the hardest working. So you think you've done all this training as a person that wants to climb Everest, right? You go there. It's the Sherpas. They fix all the ropes. They've got the ladders. They're putting them over the crevices and over the ice falls. They're making everything safe wait, and guiding wait, 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 everyone wait, 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 else. Wait, 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 so wait. you're not actually climbing Mount Everest. The Sherpas are doing all the hard yards wait. and you're just... You just said that, the lead. like uh, um, CJ said, it is his job, right? And you're saying, oh, he has to take it. But it's like going on a cruise and going, oh, he, the people have to prepare the boat and then they've got to prepare yeah, the When you go on a cruise, on you, don't, you don't say to everyone, guys, look at this. I just managed to complete a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, uh, yeah. What do you mean, Dev? I'm saying he's done an amazing job. Like the Sherpas no, are the I'm hardest saying. working. Of course, they're doing everything and you're just... Coming but they, in they want to get recognition, you know? So oh, we've got to give want this guy recognition. recognition. Right, okay. I missed the point. So it's oh, for okay. recognition. Okay. That's for the recognition. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good on you. What's his name? <laughs> Kami Sherpa. Rita. You know what um, What this reminds me of? What? Like a Simpsons episode when um, who wants to climb Mount Everest? Homer. And then Homer. And yeah. then he goes, the Sherpas say they quit or they fire the Sherpas? No, no. The Sherpas carry him up there because he can't make it anymore. But oh. then <laughs> but then they they do wheel carts on the way, all the way down. They're like, Woohoo, we quit and he they just leave him leave him there. So apparently anyway. they cook the food too and set up the and set up the camps and stuff like that. So they do everything. So really climbing Everest, you just have to walk. Yeah. So all you gotta you do to climb Everest these days is walk. Mm -hmm. Hang on, Siege. Yeah. <laughs> I say let's walk around the park, you go F that. <laughs> I'm not saying something I'm going to do. Personally. No, I don't think the average person could do Everest without a lot of training. Yeah, being able to walk. I, I reckon uh, you know the you know those masks that stop your oxygen. Mm -hmm. Stop your oxygen. Restrictive. I re restrictive, right? I reckon we should put that on and walk around the park and see how it freaking how it freaking feels. Do it. Let's do it. We we'll put that on Instagram too. <laughs> I reckon we won't get around the park. I reckon we will get around the park. I'll probably pass out halfway around the second time. So this one's a question out for you guys. Um, Rich Eisen show, whoever that is, tweeted out, does the person sitting in the middle seat on the airplane get both armrests? And he did a poll of definitely and no way. 107,000 people responded. What's your guys' thoughts before I tell you what they said? No, no way. way. I take both when I'm in the middle. Do you? You got to take the one to the left or the one that's opposite the window. So the person. No. So this is this is what people are saying. Oh. People are saying that because there's four armrests, you have Ooh. one on the aisle, oh. two in the middle, and then one on the wall side. Right. Oh, there's one on the wall side. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Even though most times it's down, but there's one there. So what people are saying is, if you have the window, 
you have the luxury of one armrest and the wall. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you're on the aisle, you have the luxury of one armrest and more leg room. So if yeah. you're in the middle, you should get two armrests. That's what oh, that okay. argument is. You says. should, but do does it work like that? But do you does the person sitting in the middle of the seat on the airplane get both armrests? That's the question. So you are this definitely a... on no way. Let's let's have a well, now route, that like now a... that but I, hang on, wait, wait, from now what that I have that information, are we the person in the middle or are we? Yeah, the... of course, the person in the middle. So now that I have the information that you've told me, yeah, you get both. You get both. I'm on the both now. I think it's. I think it's also dependent on the size of the people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But my my like, if all things being equal, I think they should. That's my answer. Yeah. I think they should. Both. Okay, so Maxi's both. Dev's both. Emma. Both. both. Size of the person. CJ. But like, let's say all things like, being like equal. the size yeah. of the person's not an option. Not Definitely a would be different. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty close. One hundred seven thousand five hundred twenty eight votes. Forty seven to fifty three percent was the votes. With the winner being Brexit. Fifty three percent to no way. Ooh, so most people say no. Oh, way. so I was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't mean you're right. No, but <laughs> yes, no. it does. <laughs> it I means feel your like opinion is shared with fifty three percent of the other. I was right. <laughs> All right, Maxi. Let's kick off with your one next. Okay, so the title of my article is. Man builds fence around car share vehicle parked at home without permission. Okay. Like, is, there, is there a picture? I don't know. It's not a very good fence, to be fair. It's, it's three poles with wood going between them and some <laughs> rope. <laughs> and then it says on the outside of it, private property. What? I'm so confused. So what has he done? That's so a basically, car there's, a, there's, there's a car share, a, a company called car to go and essentially you basically download an app on your phone and then you see if there's cars in the area and then you just rent it out. And then I'm not sure exactly how it's... I don't know if you can use your phone to stay or you get given keys, but you go and you just pick up the car, you drive it around and you leave it wherever you want. That's the oh, point. But obviously, so it's the same as like you're the scooters. Meant to leave it, you're meant to leave it somewhere where obviously it's free parking or you pay for a certain time and then the car to go will come pick it up. Yeah. That's the plan, right? Yep. So this guy has maybe outside of his like two, two like building with two complexes or like two apartments. Yeah. He um so that's his like he's a landlord there and then he has like maybe four parking spaces outside. And then a while ago some people came to park on there from car to go, which means like his residents can't park. So he like called up to complain. Nothing happened, but then somebody come to pick it up like a, a day later anyway, just as part of the app, okay. not because he said anything. Yeah, but this time they did it and it was there for like five days. So his his then thinking is this is what he said to like the, the news guys, uh Huff Post. He said, uh, well, this is private property, so if anybody gets like injured on this property, then I, I could be liable. I'm not sure how it worked. Right. So I don't feel comfortable having this car that I don't own and then private people coming onto my property and using it. So right. I'm going to build a fence around it and say it's off limits. And if you want to retrieve your car, you have to call me personally and then I'll come out and supervise you taking the car <laughs> off of my yeah. property. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then not only he says this, he said he now wants to charge car to go $65 a day for storage, $300 for the fence and $500 for harassment fees. What's the harassment fees part? I don't know what the harassment fees I guess the harassment fees, fees be because they're having to call him to get the car out. Oh, like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but he he hasn't let anybody take the car out yet. He said he wants a uh, car to go to come and do it. Oh, mm. I mean, because because people have tried to use the car since and not been and able they can't to. Get so it. now, car to go have responded saying, "We're gonna we're now f- like charging you for stealing our car." Oh, <laughs> so now it's like a double headed sword. No way. Okay, who do you think so guess- will win though in court? Well, he's yeah, on private property, isn't it? And he didn't steal it because he didn't take yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't take it. Yeah, I think the guy who owns the building, like the landlord, will definitely win. Like, uh, uh, pull the fence down and just put heaps of shit in front of the car. In saying that, <laughs> is it actually on, like, on his actual property or is it out the front on the street? That looks like a... No, I don't know, I'm not sure. 
there's parking. It's like the, the street is there and then you turn into the front of his property and there's four parking spaces all on his property. Oh, and they've so just I mean? parked So you're off there. of the street. So yeah. they park on there. No, I don't know yeah, what the rules totally are. So private homeowners, property. I'm ask you, like, can you just erect fences wherever you want? On if your property? On your own property, property yeah. Your own well, property, I just yeah. know like in England, like there's, there's rules when it comes to putting things places. Yeah. So I don't know. Here, though, mate. Only if it's like I a think... per- only if it's like a certain type of what fence. fence? Or... Okay. You don't have to apply for in the your area. Bond. There is not in that in not in this area. Yeah, there is. What for? You, like you'd just... have to get council approval to put a fence up in front of your house. Mate, that's what I mean. Like... Fences whenever they want. Yeah, but I don't you need to council approval. Works. Or they'll make you tear down the fence. Well, I'd be surprised that's the case in America. They're quite. I've n- I've never. My parents have never ever put in like a little picket fence. Even. Let's say you wanted to get like a brick fence, right? Yeah. Put it in. You need council approval. But that's at the front. Wow. Yeah. But if I put a fence at the back... Yeah, you can do what you want at the back. Yeah, that's in the back. That's not the front. But but this guy's like... The fence as well is... It is literally three poles Show him which the are fence. about... I can't see the fence. 1.5 meters high. And then it's like three meters wide. And then it's got two planks of wood like a nail counts- to each pole. You need council least, approval for that. Sorry, is, is that the back of his house? That's, that's the back like of his, his house. He, Mate, owns- he can do what he wants to do. <laughs> yeah, he owns <laughs> like He, can, he the- can run nude if he wants to. It's the back of his house. He owns the apartment block, I guess. Guess what I'm doing at my house when I get it? Running nude in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's interesting. I think I think what no, his reason in the first was just Put to like, I think, I'm not sure, the way he spoke, it sounded like he was just doing it to prove a point, like to make a point to Cardi yeah, go, to yeah. be like, look, I've complained a few times before, you're not doing anything, so I think I'm within my rights to do this, just come and get your car. But they still yeah. took ages to respond, and it was only until they started losing money because people couldn't pick it up, then they were like, oh, something's going on here. Yeah. Um, and now he's saying like, for him to have to go through all that effort, for you to like, think about me, and my like, and you're breaking the law by coming onto our property, like trespassing. Um, I want money because of that. Now yeah. the cars to go can just pass that on to the to the rental people. Like they'll have to put a clause into their contract stating that you can't park on private property, and if you do, we'll pass the fees on to you. <laughs> um, so you know when you go to like, especially around hospitals and stuff, and there's loads of apartment buildings, and then they've all got the signs, private private um land if you park here your vehicle will be towed so i'm mm. thinking it's the same thing right who pays for the cost of that not the yeah but how many vehicles have you, have you known have been towed i don't know oh I'm when sure i was in when i was in america the amount of times cars got towed i had a car that got towed that i left with the tow company because it had been more expensive to get it out of the tow company than to just get a new car Oh my god! Like the value I feel of the, like the value of my car was less than what they say, were trying to charge me to get it out. But Alexander, what? can I just what say you have a Not story a for bucks. every situation? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like every, a fifty-year-old man, Alex. You got like, everything's happening in your life. Every situation Absolutely. we say. Been to Iceland. He's been to America. <laughs> every like, single thing America. we say. Do you, not, is like, do you not know about this, yeah, Emma? Mum and I've Dad know about, about this. That. My car got towed. Um, unlawfully got towed, but uh, towing in America is so prevalent. Like, and there's so many, like, there's loads of tow companies because they just make a l- bunch of money off of it. Um, yeah. But it got unlawfully towed, but, you know, I didn't really have much of a legal standing in America generally. Like, I, it, the amount it would cost me to ever win something and the chance of me ever winning yeah. just wasn't there. So I, I went to them because when you, in, in America, when your car gets towed, Every day you don't pick it up, it gets like more and more expensive fee. to pick it up. Yeah. So I went there and I was like, can I just get my stuff out of the car? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, right, keep it by and left. <laughs> so there's no point in me paying to get, it would have cost me something like five, wow. 600 to get it out. And I probably could have only sold the car for like 400 if I tried. No way. Hmm. It's In England, it's now illegal to clamp cars, I think. Oh, is it? Really? But... Yeah. Have you seen those what? windshield what? clamps? Yeah. Windshield clamps? So no, they just the, put the like a big wheels? thing on the windshield instead of clamping the boots so you can't drive, like you can't see. But you can still stick your head out the window and drive. <laughs> 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 no way. <laughs> I'm like, Ernie, head out the window. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, is that, am I free on the left? Right? It's, 
Yeah, Maxi. I've never seen a winter. Yeah, I was gonna say, England's got a very good system where it tends to favour the um it, on private property. It favours the park and not the private. The uh, landlord. Oh. The landlord. That's pretty So, like, if for example you park somewhere and they have signs up saying it's going to cost you this much money if you don't get a ticket, and then they charge you, you can just write to the court and say I didn't see the sign, and then the other people have to prove you saw the sign. Yeah, right. Which is like mm-hmm. very really? hard. Yeah, but then, I see. I got that courts, ticket. The courts throw it out really quickly. Yeah. Um. But the but as long as you haven't paid, it's easy. If you pay and then try and rebuttal it, then it's like a process because then you have to go to court. But yeah. if you don't pay and just say I didn't see the sign, okay, then they have to be like, okay. So this, that's private property. This is not my question to you guys. Yeah, the councils are different. They're like because yeah, they got a massive they got a massive team of people who are on it. They don't really care yeah. about cost. Theirs is more about the reason they do it is to stop people parking there. Yeah. So even if they're going to yeah. lose a case, they'll make it annoying for you to go through yeah. it with it. What? Yeah, because they rejected my um, appeal to pay a parking ticket outside our front house on the street. I thought, mm, Hold goodness. on. What's outside, outside of your house? No, it was across the driveway. I'm across the driveway right now. No, no. at North Parra North across Para. the school. There was Parramatta Stadium. Uh, the football was on. So everyone parks where we, where we live. Okay. We parked... Just literally this side of the pole because there was literally no parking for blocks and we had the kids, babies, whatever. And it was about an hour, do you reckon? I don't know. No, it just started. The game just started. So it would have been over two hours of wait. So anyways. What's, anyway, what's what are you saying? threshold of like ticket amount for you to bother challenging it? Like, do you get what I mean by that question? Like, what's the amount over that you'd be $100. like, oh, this isn't, like, I'll just rather pay it than bother challenging 50 bucks. It. Twenty dollars. It, it, it's be any amount, but now I don't know. I just lose <laughs> twenty bucks. <laughs> twenty bucks, whatever. Over a hundred, I will appeal it if it's not right. Under, I'd be like, ah, annoyed, but fine. I just like to be difficult. <clears throat> How much if you just don't pay and don't say anything? It goes the, 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 to the fine gets more sheriff. Yeah, it goes, it goes to the sheriff. To, yeah. yeah, the sheriff. Yeah. yeah, he comes in with his badge. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his gun holster. <laughs> <laughs> Is it called a sheriff? Yeah. Hey, Toto. <laughs> Toto? That's the Toto the sheriff. Yeah, the that doesn't sound like a, an Aussie guy. Can I'm we think of an Aussie guy's Army name? Now. No, the guy from the, the uh, Western. He was the sidekick, Toto. That's the Lone Ranger, mate. Yeah, and Toto. He's not a sheriff. Oh, you're talking about Ranger. Indiana Jones. Tonto. No, Lone Ranger. Tonto. No, Lone Ranger. That was his name. Tonto. Oh, Tonto. Tonto. Not Toto. <laughs> Toto's, <laughs> Toto's, the, from, Toto's um, the dog in Wizard the of wizard Oz. The Wizard in the Oz. The Wizard in the Oz. The Wizard in the Oz. <laughs> no, no. Isn't Toto the joke from um, Rush Hour? Toto? Oh. Yeah. Didn't he say Tonto or something? Goes, or Toto? And Toto was, is what you ate last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know what you said, mate. You guys are the movie buffs. Um. So... So what do you think? Is he right or wrong for doing this? Right. I I say good on him. He's probably wrong, but I sympathise with him. Yeah, I would have took the tyres. I go with it. Yeah, you would have took the tyres. I would have left it on bricks. So that's (laughs) how I found it. (laughs) (laughs) CG, take it now. Put new tyres on. Take it. (laughs) CG, you're you're building yourself a reputation on this podcast. (laughs) All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.